Hello guys and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC reviews. Today we're going to do another review on a frame from the guys at Akaris Precision, which if you haven't seen my other video, I'll notate it up here somewhere in the car where you can look back. And they was nice enough to send me one for the P320 this time. Uh, like I say, I've done a review on the 365 uh, aluminum frame, which is feels real nice. As you can see, is this one just no exception to the other one, uh, just a bigger one and well machined here. Uh, as you can see, is uh, the uh, machining and everything they have. The texture is very nice. The grip angle is much better. It feels much better. And as usual, um, you know, all the sericoding is well done as well. And the good thing about this, still have the Picatinny rail here. And you can put your uh, light and lasers and everything on this. So just by anything, <clears throat> you know, all you got to do is take the, what is the serialized uh, firearm part of the SIG line here. As you can see right there, all you do is take out the trigger components system or whatever you want to call it. I forgot. And you just drop it right in this one. Of course, you have to get a new magazine um, button here, or you can take the one out of there. I'd rather get one that's metal, be, be more durable, and that's about it. So that's pretty much, guys. Um, I'm going to put in, in the button right here for the extended magazine button, which you'll see here later. Put everything together, and then we're going to step outside and take some shots with it and see how well it points as far as... Uh, one thing I said previous, I wasn't a sick fan at all because of the grip angle and everything how it feels it just wasn't uh feeling too good in my hands but with all this weight right here and adding this one uh framed aluminum to this one it kind of balanced the weight now uh if you care a lot it's definitely going to be front heavy as you uh if you ever hold one of these um this one does feel front heavy so it's gonna uh, help mitigate all the weight and uh, put it all, you know, evenly and everything. Hopefully, once I put this aluminum frame here, uh, all the specs and everything will be notated down below so you can know everything. But just look, uh, there's the logo right there. The machining is just magnificent. Here's the back strap right here, as you can see. Uh, and just nice, nice uh, frame here. Uh, I will be, you know, testing different grips for the p320 of course but this is the one i got first so we're gonna try this one so all right guys enough talking let's go outside and after I install this of course youtube does not allow us the installation and everything there are other videos out there where i show you how to install this especially from those guys uh carriers of precision and that will show you but it's pretty simple nothing real hard again just drop the firearm control here in this one and of course uh, put the magazine release button here, which is not going to be the stop one. It's going to be uh, Extended one that I'm putting this one. So all right, let's step outside take some shots See how well it feels on the hand. How was well the points and everything? All right guys, let's put a few rounds Let's start with a 21 round mass again due to ammunition I'm not gonna be loading this 21 rounds, but just want to make sure a loads functions drops and all that good stuff again The one that's not gonna drop it's gonna be the ETS group one. All right no red dial, let's do iron size. Here we go. Locked open. Another stick magazine. Here we go. Nice. All right. ETS group. Malfunction. I figure that's what's gonna have with this magazine. Here we go. Malfunction then load. One round left. Here we go. One hand. Bye. <laughs> Alright, it does drop if it's not loaded. Again, like I noticed with the ETS uh, the magazine swells up when you load it up, which is very interesting. The uh, Glock magazine for that doesn't do that. So I don't know if it's a weaker plastic or whatever they use. Uh, it is more flexible uh, than the uh, Glock mag. So may not be using this. So, all right, let's load some more magazines and uh, choose some more. So stay tuned.
all right guys sorry about the wind here anything but either way guys this frame is awesome i really like it now if you want a solid firearm uh if you want to use it for training or duty or whatever i really uh recommend this product right here from a carrier's precision very well machine they are a little pricey now so if you can afford it grab one if you can uh, if you want a solid uh pistol and you worry about the polymer under uh you know weather conditions and everything uh you know aluminum is the way to go of course uh depending on how much you use it how uh, uh you abusive and everything <laughs> a lot of depends how much it's going to last but aluminum is going to last longer it's going to be stronger in my opinion and it's easy to clean and maintain and all that good stuff you don't have to worry about wearing you know the finish uh the finish will be wearing you know later but anyways guys that's pretty much again thank you to akaris precision hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly sorry guys but i really enjoyed this uh again it is a little bit makes it more heavier so uh consider that if you're going to use this just for range or use it for um competition or whatever uh it is going to make it a flatter shooter because of the weight and everything and you can also uh you know put the tungsten weights in there as well if you need some more weight keep that muscle rise going uh from coming up and everything and all that good stuff all right guys that's pretty much it that's all i got again thank you to our care's position if you are not subscribed uh make sure to subscribe like share all that good stuff follow me on all social medias if you're not you are missing out on a lot of giveaways i do at least one once a month and yeah that's pretty much it guys make sure to like subscribe hit the join, the join button on the bottom if you like to uh support the channel that's the best way to do it uh every month for a minimum of 199 and so on different levels three levels and the amount goes up so thank you for everyone that has been supported throughout the years all the companies have been supporting the channel for a small channel like me i really appreciate it i thank you again and i'll see you in the next one goodbye